Look at this gorgeous spring morning. It did finally arrive here in Utah. My name is Julie and today is another episode of Frugal Mama Reviews where I try out an item, a product, a service, and tell you if I think it is worth your hard-earned money. So it is time to break out my birthday present. Yes! <laughs> Finally opening up this birthday present, the Mo Warm, since it's finally warm. <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> really excited. Mo Warm Garden Kneeler Set. It isn't just a kneeler, a bench thing. No, no, no. This has everything. Apologies, frugal friends, if you hear my washing machine going in the background, but it is a day to be productive, and Frugal Mama absolutely is. So this is the, the bench thing, but it also comes with a pair of gloves, and they're these wacky kind that I've been seeing everywhere. They have like claws. You're totally like Wolverine. Then, I wonder if we can get these out without, oh, okay, they're under it. So this goes on the side of the kneeler bench thing, and that'll hold all of our tools. Speaking of which, Okay, so it comes with three tools. Uh, looks like a hoe, a rake, and a spade. I wonder if assembly is required. I'm gonna pull this out of the box and, and let's see. So really the only assembly I had to do was just to put these side pocket things to drape them over the handles. This thing is already all put together. It pops right up, which is fantastic. You've got squishies on both <laughs> squishies. You've got You've got pads on both sides so that you can use it as a bench or a kneeler. You guys know that with my arthritis, not just in my hands, but throughout my body, and with my foot that is nothing but trouble, now these days it's doing much better. I'm so proud of my foot and the progress it has made since full reconstructive surgery. There's our... <laughs> There's our crazy freaky gloves with these wolverine claws. That's going to be fantastic. The structure, it feels pretty darn sturdy. I put the spade on this side in the pocket. And then over here, I've got the hoe and then the rake. I'm a teeny bit nervous because I am really clumsy. I am a little bit nervous about this and having these sticking out like this. I also wish that the pockets were just a little bit deeper so this would go in a little further. Maybe I'll try them on the other side and see if those pockets are any deeper. I am absolutely impressed with the quality of the structure, the design, the materials used. This does not feel cheap by any means. The tools are probably the least impressive of the whole thing. These are yeah, I mean, they're not dollar store tools, but, you know, low-end Walmart kinds of tools. They'll do the job for now, and I wasn't getting this set for the tools. I wanted the bench that also works as a kneeler, and I wanted these pockets that hang on the side. Having these Wolverine gloves and the tools, well, that was just bonus. Let's get this outside into the beautiful, warm, finally, spring sunshine and give it a try. A quick note, yes, on the other side, in the other pocket, the pockets are teeny bit deeper, but it's still, I don't know, they're still kind of floppy here, and I will still be very, very careful to avoid any potential accidents, disasters, catastrophes, you know, like the kind that I'm known for. Look! Happiness! I hadn't seen that one. I had only seen that this purple one was popping up. Yeah. But look, this pink lady over here is already fully in bloom. Oh, that's just the perfect start to this morning. And then we have our daffodils. Oh, hello, ladies. Good morning. Whew. Oh, and we have some little hyacinths right here. I love how they are just spreading. Oh spreading beauty and happiness and the crocuses are done they did their thing brought us joy during the never-ending winter it's happening now to just get out here and finally get to work soil that's been waiting since last year to fill in the needy spaces so much dead foliage obscuring nature's beauty and bounty. Oh, and it's been windy, so there's garbage. Oh, 
All right, sitting out here on my bench. Got me some of my old shears. Gonna put my new gloves on that came with this. Where are they? There they are. And one side's got claws, check that out. Everything's coming up, blooming or done blooming. Oh, but right there, look at that, come on. That's happiness, that's beauty right there. I can already tell that this bench is going to make a world of difference for me as I get out here and attempt to clean things up, make this all tidy, make it beautiful so that we can appreciate all the beautiful blooms that are coming up. And on my crunchy old feet and crunchy old knees, yeah, it's a game changer. Progress. You betcha. It's happening. Yep. I promised my husband and myself that weeds were not part of the part of the deal today. Because I know me and he knows me and when I get started, I'll overdo it if I don't have a commitment, a plan in place. So sticking to just cutting down the dead stuff. That is that is what we're doing. Just cutting down the dead stuff. I'm making a pile over there, then also uh, contributing more to the pile over in the, the rocks. I'm doing that. So, and then I will be adding uh, soil over in this corner and kind of building it up, maybe with some rocks in front of it, because I want to have another layer. And then for sure, we'll get some of the seeds from all that dead foliage will come breaking through. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens there. I got the ladder taken down that had the pumpkins growing on it. And so these these all front beds um, are mostly done. I've got a little bit of dead foliage there, a little bit back there. And the hyacinths are just almost, almost done here. I still need to tackle this big front bed and the, the rose bush desperately needs some attention, but I'm gonna sit and just enjoy for a minute, relax, and tell you that that little bench kneeler thing, that is so handy. I absolutely recommend it. A noisy tractor going down the road. I have done as much as I can do. I will have the kids come out and clean up the last of what I cut down. The rest of it I was able to take care of. Ooh, that rose bush looks way better. Turned out it was just a bunch of dead leaves needed to be uh, plucked off. So then Reagan is going to mow the lawn or or Mariah is going to and then Reagan's going to do the edging. I don't know. I still hope this year to get rid of that little area of lawn and make a little um, kind of not a patio, uh, a, like a stone flag, flagstone, just a little sitting area right there. That's the hope. We'll see if that happens this year. I was able to stick to my guns and the plan and did not pull weeds yet. That is on the list for tomorrow.